Hey everybody, Stringer here from thegimmeact.com. Here we are today starting the game Validate. We're going to be doing our first playthrough and covering our first character. So we're going to just go over to Start Date, and that's going to basically bring you over to the character select. We're going to pick the first character, who's going to be Malik, so make sure you pick Confirm. Then the game is going to start. The game is going to be a dating sim visual novel, but thankfully for our sake, in order to get through the game as quickly as possible and go for all the achievements, Whenever you are in the middle of a scene, you can hit the start button and you could skip to that scene's respective ending. So make sure you just pick skip to ending. So for this one, skip to intro ending. And then you should also be credited for getting the achievement that goes along with that scene. So this first one up is going to be for 200 gamer score for just meeting the character for the first time. Once you get past the intro, you're going to actually get to the dating part of the dating sim. So you're going to always start out each date with this screen. You want to make sure you click on the heart to confirm whatever your date is. That's going to transition you over into the scene. Once you get past the title card, you're going to get the interface. As soon as the interface pops up, what you want to do is you want to make sure you hit the start button and then skip to that date's ending. You should have a few different options for endings. For this first playthrough, we are just going to stick to whatever the good endings are going to be. So for this first one, make sure you pick the good ending, and that should transition you over to its ending. And that should also get you the next achievement, which is going to be for another 200 gamer score. Once you wrap up a date, you're going to get ready to start the next one and make sure you just pick the heart every time to confirm. And same deal with every single date until you get to the appropriate overall ending for this character. Make sure you get past the title card. Make sure you get into the interface. Hit the start button. Make sure you pick skip to good ending and that should fast forward you until you get to the end. Make sure you get to the result screen and then on your way there you should be good for whatever the achievement is going to be. Now it's going to be right after this date, you are going to notice that most of the achievements in this game are actually going to be worth zero gamer score. So there's going to only be five achievements worth 200 gamer score a piece that is going to account for the 1000 gamer score of the game. However, we are going to need the bulk of the rest of the achievements, which are going to be zero gamer score to get the completion. So if for whatever reason you are just in it for the gamer score, you could just skip to the parts that are going to give you the achievements that do give you gamer score and just go for those five. However, since the completion is also going to be on the table and is going to need all of those zero point achievements, might as well go for them as well. And they aren't going to add too much time to the game, thankfully. So just make sure you do get them. And the gameplay loop is going to be simple enough where you might as well knock them out of the way too and also get your completion alongside your 1000 gamer score. So the next achievement that gives you 200 gamer score is going to be date number three in Malik's good playthrough, which is going to be that one right there. So once you are at this point in the game, you should be good for three of the five achievements that actually do give you gamer score. So you should be 600 for a thousand in terms of total gamer score. We're going to have one more date in Malik's good ending playthrough, so make sure you get through that. But of course, this achievement is going to be with zero gamer score that you unlock. But that's going to take you to the epilogue of Malik's good playthroughs. And then we're just going to skip this like we would any other scene. So for the epilogue scenes, we don't need to pick a date. We can just hit start and then just skip to the one and only ending, which should wrap up our first set of playthroughs for Malik. So we're going to wrap this one up and then be good for the last achievement, which unfortunately is going to be worth zero gamer score. But this is going to take you back to the main menu. Check back next time where we're going to go for the alternate endings for Malik. But that's going to be it for now. And that's all there is to it.